From a crazy flash flood that left these three guys stranded on the roof of a truck, and a sudden landslide in Yunnan province that nearly wiped away an entire village, to a flash flood in Cambodia that caused several homes to collapse, and a freak tornado in China that smashed into a ceramic factory in the middle of the night. Here are 10 destructive natural disasters and landslides caught on camera. Yunnan Province, China spans about 152,000 square miles and is home to roughly 47 million people. For reference, that would be like cramming all those people into a space slightly larger than the state of Montana. Even in rural areas, the high population density means many people are prone to random natural disasters. Take this landslide from July of 2020, for example. Traffic was moving steadily when, all of a sudden, the whole mountain started moving. Drone footage from above the disaster puts the whole thing in perspective. Look at where the landslide made the road disappear. Those who made it across were lucky they escaped. Those left behind got stuck in one of the worst traffic jams you'll ever see. All those mountains could trigger a landslide at any time. The scary part is that you might never see it coming. It could happen any time and come from any direction, like this one. Sadly, the landslide tore through a small village, crushing several homes. Two people were buried upon impact. Firefighters recovered their remains several days later. Windstorms are no joke in China. They can be as strong as hurricanes and strike without warning. If you're not careful, you could find yourself trapped in the middle of one. On April 19th of 2024, one of those freak windstorms struck Tung County in the Guangxi Zhuang Autonomous Region. Locals at a nearby ceramics factory had to duck for cover when powerful winds ripped their roof off. If you thought it looked bad on the outside, wait until you see what it looked like on the inside. To prove how quickly these storms can move, watch how quickly things escalate inside this man's car. It looks like a tornado is forming up ahead. Then, in just 10 quick seconds, the storm is on top of him. Thankfully, everybody escaped the factory before the roof collapsed, and only a handful of people suffered a few bumps and bruises. Huizhou, China is a prefecture-level city in Guangdong province. It's home to about 6 million people and an old ancestral hall belonging to the Dong family. It was a popular place for local worship and ceremonies until a mining company decided to destroy it. Well, accidentally, of course. Yinhai Mining Company specializes in extracting, crushing, and selling limestone. They discovered a large deposit under the mountain that overshadowed Dawei Village. On February 25th of 2024, they rigged part of the mountain to blow. Apparently, they used too much TNT. While nobody got hurt in the blast, the flying rocks destroyed portions of the Dung family hall. 
主公堂，在抗山的十米之内。整个主公汤已经报废，已经报废。中国人的信仰。The worst part is that Dung Hall had just undergone costly renovations. They began work in April of 2016 and sunk about $200,000 into repairs. We imagine this repair job will be much more expensive. Hopefully, Yinhai Mining forks over the cash to fix their mistake. Timoshevsk, Russia, is a small town near the Sea of Azov. It's home to about 50,000 people and one angry Russian man who never wants to hear the word "hail" again. It was June 30th of 2018. Our Russian friend was out for a drive when a freak hailstorm struck out of nowhere. Stones the size of golf balls began pelting his car. Since he couldn't go anywhere, he hunkered down and recorded the chaos. This poor man's car looks like it lost at a demolition derby. Hail broke all the windows and left hundreds of dents in the body. All the green you see is from the stones slicing through leaves as they plummet to earth. Now we don't know what he's saying in Russian, but we imagine he's using some colorful language. The Cambodian city of Tak Mau is the largest in Kandal Province. It's only seven miles south of the capital city of Phnom Penh, where most locals commute for work. Most of the city is built around several canals branching off the Basak River. While these waterways are the lifeblood of Tak Mau, they also can be its detriment. Watch what happened to these local homes when heavy rain overwhelmed the canal and eroded the sides. <laughs> According to reports, the canal flooded after water was released from a far-off dam in Phnom Penh. The current tore through the city, taking at least five houses with it. One of the homeowners said he had just taken out a loan to build his house. Then, in a flash, the canal carried it away. Now he's buried in debt, just like several others who lost their homes. Thankfully, officials noticed the erosion and evacuated the at-risk houses. Nobody was inside when their home floated upriver. Between July 17th and July 31st of 2021, the Chinese province of Hunan experienced several destructive floods. 
It all stemmed from two weeks of relentless rain, which peaked on the 20th near a small town called Mihe. Locals scrambled for higher ground after eight inches of rain fell in one hour. If you don't think that sounds bad, just wait until you see what it looks like. According to reports, this was the heaviest rainstorm the area had ever seen. Hundreds of streets were completely flooded, and thousands were left without power. These three guys are lucky that truck was tall enough. Imagine being stuck there without a clue when this will end. Put yourself in this family's soggy shoes. They may have been safe inside, but they still had to watch all their cars get washed away. The white SUV almost filled the gap, but it just wasn't long enough. In the end, the Hunan floods affected nearly 15 million people in the province and, according to rough figures, caused $12.7 billion in property damage. Did you know that there's an entire portion of Russia between China and Japan? It's called Primorsky Krai. When translated literally, it means coastal territory. On March 4th of 2024, locals in the village of Provolovo could smell something burning in the distance. To their horror, they found the landscape on fire and a tornado looming overhead. Что это было? This fire NATO occurred when eastern Russia was at a heightened risk for landscape fires. The situation had become so bad that local governments established special fire regimes to tackle the problem. Unfortunately, none of them were equipped to handle a fire tornado. According to local experts, this was the first fire tornado ever recorded in the Primorsky region. It's unclear how much damage it caused, but it doesn't look like anybody got hurt. From what we can gather, Russia has a problem with human-started wildfires during the peak season. Most of them are caused by locals burning the dry grass. Uttarakhand is a mountainous state in northern India. It sits right below Tibet and lies in the shadow of the Himalayan mountains. The steep terrain and frequent rain make this Indian state prone to disastrous landslides. On August 28th of 2018, one of those landslides struck in the Chamoli district of Uttarakhand. Villagers on opposite sides of the river watched the disaster firsthand. Half were far away, while the rest were way too close for comfort. <laughs>
Thankfully, local authorities recognized the signs of an imminent landslide and evacuated the shops before they fell. That said, those people shouldn't have been standing so close. Some were only a few feet away when the shop slipped over the embankment. Several days of rain had flooded the local Pindar River. Erosion weakened the soil beneath the shop, causing everything to fall. In total, the landslide destroyed five local shops. The owners banded together and demanded compensation from the government. It's unclear if they received any help or rebuilt their stores. If you enjoyed this video and want to see another just like it, be sure to click the link on screen now. With that, thanks for watching, and we'll catch you in the next one.